Can you imagine a world where the lines between reality and the digital realm are blurred? This is the world that virtual reality, or VR, promises to deliver. But how did we get here? Let's take a quick journey back in time to the dawn of VR. In the swinging 60s, while the world was enthralled by the space race and the Beatles, a quiet revolution was taking place in the realm of technology. The Sensorama, a primitive version of VR, was born. It was a mechanical device that offered a multi-sensory experience, incorporating sights, sounds, and even smells to transport the user to a different world. But the Sensorama was limited. It was bulky, not interactive, and could only simulate pre-recorded experiences. The vision of a fully immersive virtual world was still a far-off dream, but the seed had been planted. In the late 70s a new development took us a step closer to this dream. The first head-mounted display or HMD was introduced. It was a far cry from the sleek VR headsets we know today, but it was revolutionary for its time. For the first time, users could look around a virtual environment, giving a sense of presence and immersion. However, the technology of the time was still not up to the task. The graphics were rudimentary, the devices were uncomfortable and heavy, and the cost was prohibitive for most. The dream of VR was alive, but it was clear that the technology needed to catch up. Despite these challenges, developers and innovators kept pushing the boundaries, driven by the vision of a world where we could seamlessly blend the physical and the digital. They knew that the journey was just beginning, and that the road to VR would be a long one. And they were right. It would take several more decades of technological advancements, countless trials and errors, and the relentless spirit of innovation to bring us to where we are today. The dawn of VR was indeed just that, a dawn. This was just the beginning, a stepping stone to the immersive experiences we enjoy today. What if we told you that you could enhance your reality rather than replace it? Welcome to the world of augmented reality, a technology that superimposes digital information onto our physical surroundings, creating a blend of real and virtual. The journey of augmented reality or AR began with its early uses in military applications. In the mid-1960s Ivan Sutherland, often referred to as the father of computer graphics, developed the first head-mounted display system for immersive simulation training. This was a primitive form of AR but it laid the groundwork for what was to come. Fast forward to the late 20th century, Arkansas made its way into commercial applications. From car manufacturers using AR for design and production, to retailers offering virtual try-ons, Arkansas started to change the way businesses operate. But it didn't stop there. With the advent of smartphones, Arkansas took a massive leap. It was no longer confined to specialized environments or expensive equipment. Developers began creating AR apps, turning our phones into magic windows that can overlay digital information onto the real world. Apps like Pokemon Go and Snapchat filters brought AR into the mainstream, capturing imaginations worldwide. The unique benefits of AR are numerous. It provides real-time information, enhancing our interaction with the real world. Imagine walking down a street pointing your phone at a restaurant and instantly seeing reviews and menu items. Or picture a mechanic fixing a complex engine, guided by AR overlays showing each step in detail. These are just a couple of examples of how AR can seamlessly integrate digital information into our everyday lives. Yet, the potential of AR is far from realized. With advancements in wearable technology, we might soon see AR glasses replacing our screens providing a hands-free, immersive experience. AR has opened up new avenues for innovation, transforming our interaction with the world around us. It's not about replacing reality but enhancing it, making our lives more interactive, informative, and ultimately, more exciting. What happens when you merge the immersive capabilities of VR with the real-time enhancements of AR? Let's dive into the third scene. The convergence of VR and AR. Virtual reality, or VR, pulls us into an entirely different world, providing a fully immersive experience that detaches us from our physical surroundings. Augmented reality, or AR, on the other hand, overlays digital elements onto our real world, enhancing our interaction with our immediate environment. Now imagine the possibilities when these two technologies converge. This convergence has given birth to a new form of reality called mixed reality. This is where the physical and digital worlds collide, creating a hybrid environment where virtual and real objects coexist and interact in real time. With mixed reality, we're not just spectators in a virtual world or mere observers of overlaid information. Instead, we become active participants in a world that is a blend of the real and the virtual. 
This new dimension of reality has opened up a plethora of opportunities, especially in the fields of gaming, education, and professional training. In gaming, imagine battling aliens on the streets of your hometown or catching mythical creatures in your backyard. In education, students can now step back in time to explore ancient civilizations or dive into the human body to understand its complexity. And in professional training, surgeons can practice intricate procedures or engineers can simulate complex machinery, all in a risk-free and cost-effective environment. This synergy of VR and AR is not just about creating a new form of entertainment or a novel way of learning. It's about transforming the way we perceive and interact with the world around us. It's about bridging the gap between the physical and the digital, between reality and imagination. As the lines between the physical and digital continue to blur, we are only limited by our imagination. So let's envision, explore, and embrace this exciting convergence of realities. Ready to take a leap into the future? Imagine a world where virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality AR technologies are as omnipresent as smartphones are today. A world where advancements in haptic technology, artificial intelligence, and spatial computing have blurred the lines between the digital and the physical, creating immersive experiences that are indistinguishable from reality. This is the future we're steering towards. A future where VR and AR are no longer just buzzwords, but integral parts of our daily lives. Let's take a moment to delve into these advancements. Haptic technology, for instance, is progressing at a rapid pace. It's set to transform VR and AR experiences by allowing us to touch and feel virtual objects, bringing a whole new level of immersion. Imagine feeling the texture of an ancient artifact in a virtual museum, or the vibrations of a virtual guitar string. It's all becoming possible. Then there's artificial intelligence, an indispensable cog in the VR and AR machinery. AI is not only making these technologies smarter but also more personalized. It's enabling the creation of virtual assistants that can understand and respond to our emotions, making our interactions with the virtual world more natural and intuitive. Spatial computing, on the other hand, is revolutionizing the way we interact with digital content. It's enabling us to manipulate virtual objects in 3D space, just like we would in the real world. This opens up a plethora of possibilities, especially in industries such as healthcare, entertainment, and tourism. In healthcare, for instance, VR and AR can enable remote surgeries, medical training, and patient rehabilitation. In entertainment, they can create immersive gaming and movie experiences. In tourism, they can transport us to far-off places without leaving the comfort of our homes. The future of VR and AR is indeed exciting. But it's important to remember that these technologies are not just about creating cool gadgets or immersive games. They're about creating experiences that are indistinguishable from reality, experiences that can educate us, heal us, entertain us, and connect us in ways we've never imagined before. The future of VR and AR is not just about technology, it's about creating experiences that are indistinguishable from reality. But what does this mean for our economy? Let's dive into how the surge of virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, could potentially impact our economy. As we usher in this brave new world of VR and AR, we're not just talking about a new form of entertainment or a new way to interact with technology. We're talking about an entirely new industry. This means job creation in a variety of fields. From developers and engineers creating these immersive worlds, to marketers and salespeople bringing them to the masses. It's a new frontier, and with every frontier, there's an opportunity for pioneers. Beyond job creation, VR and AR hold the promise of increased productivity. Imagine a world where a surgeon in New York can use VR to assist in a complex operation taking place in Tokyo. Or a mechanic can use AR to visualize and diagnose a car engine problem without getting under the hood. The possibilities are endless. And with these possibilities come increased efficiency, and in turn, economic growth. But let's not stop there. VR and AR are also opening up brand new business opportunities. From VR arcades to AR-enhanced shopping experiences, businesses are finding innovative ways to incorporate these technologies to offer new services and enhance customer experiences. This not only creates new revenue streams, but also fosters competition, which is a key driver for economic growth. And finally, consider the global competitiveness. Countries that embrace and invest in VR and AR technologies stand to gain a competitive edge in this fast-evolving digital economy. They'll be the ones setting the standards, driving innovation, and reaping the economic benefits. So, when we look at the potential economic impact of VR and AR, 
we're looking at a future filled with new jobs, increased productivity, innovative business opportunities, and heightened global competitiveness. The economic potential of VR and AR is as vast as the experiences they can create. Could your smartphone soon be a thing of the past? It's a question that's been brewing in the minds of tech enthusiasts and futurists alike. As we delve into the realm of virtual reality, VR and augmented reality, AR, we can't help but wonder if these technologies could eventually replace our beloved mobile phones. Let's start by considering the advantages of VR and AR. These technologies immerse us in a digital world and overlay digital information onto our physical environment respectively. With a VR or AR device we could potentially have access to our favorite apps, games, and communication tools in a hands-free, visually engaging manner. Imagine walking through a virtual art gallery with your friends from different corners of the world, or overlaying a cooking tutorial onto your kitchen countertop. These experiences could potentially offer a level of interaction and immersion that smartphones can't match. But it's not all rosy. There are significant challenges that need to be addressed before VR and AR can truly replace mobile phones. Accessibility is a prime concern. Mobile phones are relatively affordable and easy to use, making them accessible to a vast demographic. VR and AR devices, on the other hand, are currently more expensive and require a certain level of technological understanding. Privacy is another concern. While smartphones certainly collect a lot of data about us, VR and AR could take this one step further by collecting data on our physical movements and interactions. It's a reality that could potentially be misused if not properly regulated. Lastly, there's the issue of user comfort. While the idea of immersing ourselves in a digital world or overlaying digital information onto our physical environment sounds exciting, it could also be overwhelming for some users. Getting used to a new interface and a new way of interacting with technology might take time and patience. Whether or not VR and AR will replace mobile phones, one thing is certain. They are redefining the way we communicate and interact with the world. And that in itself is a revolution worth watching. So, what can we take away from our journey through the world of VR and AR? We've traveled a considerable distance from the dawn of virtual and augmented reality to the potential future of these fascinating technologies. We've seen how they have evolved from their rudimentary beginnings into the cutting-edge systems that we know and love today. We began with the birth of virtual reality, a technology that immerses us in a completely digital world. We've seen its rise from a promising concept to a powerful tool that's changing the way we interact with digital content. Then we explored the rise of augmented reality, a technology that layers digital information onto our physical world. We've marveled at how it's transforming our interaction with our surroundings, making our environment interactive and digitally manipulatable. We've also delved into the convergence of VR and AR, a combination that promises to bring the best of both worlds. This convergence holds the potential to create immersive experiences that blend the digital and physical realms in ways we're just starting to understand. We've glimpsed the future of VR and AR. We've imagined a world where these technologies are as commonplace as smartphones are today, a world where digital and physical realities coexist and interact in real time. We've also pondered the economic impact of VR and AR. We've discussed how these technologies could create new industries, generate jobs, and contribute to economic growth. We've considered the potential for VR and AR to revolutionize sectors from education to healthcare, from entertainment to real estate, Finally, we've asked the provocative question, will VR and AR replace mobile phones? While the answer remains uncertain, we've explored the potential for these technologies to change the way we communicate and interact with each other and the world around us. The future of VR and AR is still unwritten, but one thing is clear. They are set to transform our lives in ways we can only begin to imagine. Before we wrap up this insightful journey through the world of VR and AR, we at My Project Paper would like to take a moment to express our deepest gratitude. We are incredibly thankful to you, our subscribers, for your unwavering support and enthusiasm. Each one of you has played an invaluable role in our growth. Your love and affection have not just encouraged us, but have also motivated us to innovate, research, and push our boundaries. We are truly humbled by your response and hope to continue providing you with content that is both informative and engaging. As we move forward, we request you to continue supporting us and help us reach more people by spreading the word about my project paper. With your continued support, we can keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep growing. 
We promise to keep delving into fascinating topics like VR and AR, and continue to bring you the latest insights from these rapidly evolving fields. So here's to you, our subscribers, and to the exciting journey ahead. Once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts.